Dirt on your film negatives shows up as a white speck on the positive print or positive digitization for negative stocks like black and white or color C41 film. If you have a black spot, that's a scratch on the negative, and we'll talk about those in a forthcoming video. With positive stocks like slide films or even reversal black and whites, dirt appears as a black dot. Now, the reason that dirt appears white on negative films is because it blocks light from passing through the negative by being darker than the surrounding negative's exposure level. If you print a negative onto white paper, that blocked light prevents the light from being used in the printing process and exposing the silver on the paper, and so the paper remains white where the dust had been on the negative. Likewise, if you digitize your negatives, that little dust spot will cast a shadow onto the scanner or digital sensor. When the digitization is inverted in the software, that shadow becomes a white dot. Dust on negatives can be reduced by proper processing quality control. That's the way to get rid of it. If dust gets onto the negative emulsion while it's still wet before it's dried, that dust is in the negative emulsion. You can try to re-soak it and re-rinse it, but generally that doesn't do an effective job of getting rid of the dust. So here are some steps that can reduce or possibly even eliminate dust from getting onto your negatives. Use something like PhotoFlow in your final rinse. I don't use PhotoFlow, but I will use a mild detergent and then distilled water for the final rinse. Dry your negatives quickly. The faster they dry, the less time they have for dust to get attracted to them. To do that, you can dry them in a cabinet with a low wattage incandescent bulb at the base of the cabinet. Because heat rises, putting the bulb at the top wouldn't do anything. The heat from that bulb then helps the film to dry out more quickly. If you do that and you have a cabinet, cycle filtered air through your drying cabinet. So if you can build it or modify an existing cabinet, set up a small air filter at the top and the bottom. Bring air in through the bottom and exhaust it out the top, but use filters on both fans to prevent dust from infiltrating when the fans are on or off. Creating air movement like that will also help you to move air that's heated by the incandescent bulb up and around the film. If you don't have any of this, as I don't, dry your film in a closed room. I use my bathroom, and I hang the film over the tub, and then I turn the exhaust fan for the bathroom on. That causes air to move to the fan, and that brings the dust with it, so that while the film dries a little bit more quickly, the dust is being drawn to the fan instead of to the film. I don't believe in using negative wipes, as a single piece of dust on a negative wipe or a squeegee can cause a lot of scratches on every negative on multiple rolls of film before the problem's discovered. It's easier to clone out a few extra dust spots on photos than to fix long scratches on one or more negatives on multiple rolls of film.